Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And the much needed rain continues to move into southern New England. Let's get you right to live Pinpoint Doppler 12 and you see the greens and yellows mixed in there. In fact, we can take you in a little bit closer here. Notice the strip of yellow up I-95 from Pawtucket into South Attleboro. This is all moving to the north and northwest. So if you're in Socket or say North Attleboro, you may be uh, noticing the increase in rainfall over the next 20 to 30 minutes. Down to the south we go and you can see it's also raining pretty heavily just north of Block Island and just to the west here of Narragansett. This is also moving to the north. So in Kingston around the URI campus, you could be seeing this rainfall pick up here shortly. And also a stripe of rainfall around Horseneck Beach here towards the New Bedford area. This is also moving north. So if you have driving plans, say between Fall River and New Bedford on 195 over the next hour, you could also be seeing the rain pick up. So a wet time of it. And of course, we like to see these raindrops given the very dry September that we had. A lot of raindrops right now showing up in the camera lens from Narragansett Town Beach. And here are the stats for a very dry September. We saw about three quarters of an inch of rain for the entire month of September. That was the second driest September on record here in Rhode Island. So we could obviously use a little bit more of the water. And so far, not too bad. You can see over the past 48 hours, almost a quarter of an inch here in Providence. We've done better in southeastern Massachusetts and down towards the south coast. Newport over half an inch of rain over the past couple days, and we will continue to add to those totals. Right now in the capital city, a few raindrops on the lens. We'll be seeing these increase off and on throughout the day. Temperature is 59. Those winds are out of that cool raw direction, that being the north at 10 miles an hour. Now you can think of this weather system right now as a bicycle wheel. It's just spinning and spinning. A spoke of energy pushing through this afternoon, through this evening, keeping those showers in the forecast. Eventually, this bicycle wheel rolls away, but it takes its time doing that. That's why the chance of shower is still there tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, it should start to lighten up. In fact, we can detail that going hour by hour. You can see this is around 2 o'clock. Pretty good chance of showers, especially from areas uh, south and east of Providence where the moisture is kind of coming from. You can see 7, 8 o'clock, still some showers out there if you're driving home from work. Yeah, it'll be needing those windshield wipers for the most part. Now overnight, watch what happens. We hang on to the threat of showers. Four o'clock in the morning, still heavy at times. And then it does start to taper off throughout the afternoon. I do think some drizzle is still possible tomorrow afternoon and the clouds are going to hang tough. Not a whole lot of sun on the way for Thursday. In terms of rainfall totals, this is at the higher end of the range, but I do like the trend that this computer model is using. About three quarters of an inch to maybe half an inch of rain here in the green into Providence. South and east of Providence, we could see some spots closer to an inch, maybe an inch and a half, especially heavy could be uh, east of New Bedford down towards the Cape Cod Canal. Temperatures today not moving very far from where they are right now in the low 60s, 61 Charlestown, 62 in Hope Valley. And that is the thing about rain like this. It kind of evens out the temperatures across the board. 60 in Woonsocket, eastern Massachusetts temperatures also in the low 60s, 62 Fall River, 61 in Middletown. Now in the seven day future cast again for tomorrow, the steadiest and heaviest rain very early in the morning, lighter with some drizzle by the afternoon. Now on Saturday, we do have showers in the forecast. Likely a front brings in some showers. Right now it looks like the timing has shifted back a little bit from the mid afternoon to the evening, but stay tuned. Obviously a shift in time by just a few hours can make all the difference in the world for your Saturday plans. Sunday looks okay. It's much cooler though, mostly sunny skies with temperatures in the mid 60s. So obviously the rain kind of a pain in the neck to drive in, but we really needed it. All right, thanks Pete. Here's a look at what we're working on for Island News beginning live at five. Tracking some breaking news.